So in 2007, we already saw that the interbank market in the US was freezing, so all of the US investment banks uh, were affected by that. But then what we observed for Lehman Brothers was this huge downward slide in stock prices. We also observed that capital injections were not helping at all. This was observable to all market participants, to regulators. So I think, yes, people did know, or market participants did know, that there was a big problem with Lehman Brothers. Well, markets did know that there was a problem because we see in our analysis that there was a huge downward slide in the stock prices. Also, people could see that capital injections had been made earlier in 2008 and that they did not help. So it was basically only a question of time when something would go seriously wrong and when Lehman could be rescued. But they did know because they could observe that there was a problem. You say rescued, but was the bankruptcy avoidable? Well, since not only market participants could observe this problem, but also regulators, I think it was avoidable. And it remains basically the big puzzle why this rescue did not happen, why no one stepped in. And I think ultimately it was also due to the British regulators FSA because they decided that Barclays, which was in merger and uh, takeover negotiations with Lehman, they decided that they want to forbid this takeover by Barclays. So I think it was ultimately their responsibility. It could also be that the US regulators were not as focused on Lehman because Lehman was uh, audited by a non-US auditing firm, so maybe the regulators did not have so much insight in what was going on at Lehman. So maybe they did not care as much, they did not know as much as they, as they might have known with other in US investment banks. But ultimately I think it was that the British regulators decided they are against this merger of Barclays and Lehman and I think this caused then the actual failure of Lehman Brothers. Um, there was a lot going on. Also, Lehman was not the only troubled investment bank. We know about Merrill Lynch, they were also in deep trouble. So probably people wondered about which of the investment banks is going to fail and when. And so maybe what happened was then kind of unexpected that they let Lehman actually fail. But I think it was obvious that there were problems all over the financial system in the US. Is there some lesson we can learn from this? I think so, yes. So I think the main lesson that we can learn is that the um, international coordination between supervisors can be extremely crucial in such circumstances. So uh, I think the problem was that the US supervisors and British supervisors could not agree. They had different views on this rescue package to Lehman. And if they had coordinated, I think that would have created a lot of benefits for, first of all, international investors, but also the global financial system as a whole. And I think that's the main lesson that if regulators, supervisors coordinate across countries, then that actually provides a public good service to all of us. And we would not see those huge uh, um, and dangerous or damaging spillover effects that we saw with Lehman Brothers. Yeah. If you're talking about recommendations, then you're talking about supranational uh, policy makers. Yes. Who could that be? That's a very good question. I think this is an uncharted territory and it's difficult to get into because right now the situation is that every supervisor is responsible to one sovereign. So creating such a supranational yeah, supervisor would be important. I don't know whether any of those that we have today could take over that role. That's a good question actually, yes.